I can't find it. Where's my fishing net? Don't leave things lying around. Oh, sorry, Nan. What about my other boot? Try the garden shed. Right. Come on, Sarah. I'll be down in a minute. We'll be late. Coming. What's that when it's at home? That's my fishing net. My old tights. Do you think I'll be able to wear them again? Oh, Mum, honestly. Just pulling your leg. Just a minute, Nan. Don't forget your jumper now. We don't want you catching cold. Steve? Don't live in ponds, Steve. Why not? Because they need salt water like the sea. Rivers and ponds aren't usually salty. Oh. They don't look so disappointed. There are plenty of other things to see. Why can't Tess come? Because she's visiting her dad. She can't see you all the time, Steve. Anyway, you'll have Sarah for company today. Yes, I know. Oh. That'll be her now. Hello, Mrs. Barlow. I'm sorry we're late. That's all right. Come in. I I'm afraid I have to run. Have a good day, oh. Sarah. Oi. Bye, Mum. Um, about six, then? Fine. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Did you make that yourself? Yes. That's a good idea. The holes are very small, though. You have to be very careful they don't get clogged up. Mine's made out of an old orange bag, and things don't get stuck in it. Yes, but mine can hold smaller creatures. I still think mine's better. The sooner we get to the pond, the sooner we'll find out. Come on. Hang on a minute. Steve, what are you doing? Nothing. Steve? Ready. What are you up to? Nothing, honest. All right, let's go. That's why, uh, that's why I bought this. A giant sun! Wicked! Steve, don't start. What do you think we'll find first, then? Octopuses. Steve, I've told you. All those creatures live in salt water. I know. That's why I brought salt. Oh, Steve. You know, when I was a lass, we used to catch lots of tadpoles and used... And frogs. And frogs. Did you go to the same pond? The very same. We used to find plants as well. Reeds and water lilies. I used to love going to the pond. I remember. Our Nan was fond of coming to the pond With irises all around A dragonfly would sometimes catch your eye And frogs jumped about on the of sticky eggs they grew and grew and in a month or two they started to grow little legs she used to bring a jam jar and a string she dipped it and pulled it out and there were snails and little things with tails all crawling and wriggling Pond. Is that the pond? 
No, it couldn't be. Oh, no. What's happened? It's not like he said, Nan. Where's all the rubbish come from? It's all horrible. When the water gets like that, the fish don't like it at all. It must make them sick. Ponds. It was so different when I used to come. So green and so alive. Well, we could clean it. Clean it? Yes. Come on, Sarah. Now be very careful, you'll fall in. And don't touch anything unless you've got rubber gloves on. Look. There's a water snail in here. It must have got stuck inside this can. Poor thing. It's all slimy at the bottom. It has a little foot that helps it move around. My frog wouldn't like it here. Not with all this rubbish everywhere. Couldn't we clean it up properly? Well, some people get together an action group to do things. An action group? Yeah. People who decide they want to change something. <gasps> Look! There's something alive in here. Let's have a look. There aren't many things can live in water as dirty as this. What is it? Now, those will be water lice. Wow! It's a good job I had this net I did. It would have slipped through yours. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. Had fun? Well, it was a bit disappointing. Oh. I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Oh, there's a letter there for you, Mum. It's from the college. What college? It's a secret. Shh. Look, why don't you take Sarah outside, Steve, and see if you can find your frog? OK. Come on. Why does your mum want to go to college? She likes to learn new things. She's going to do science. It's always around here somewhere. It just hopped into our garden one day. What, over the fence? There isn't much water around here. I know, that's why I wanted to take it to the pond. There must be something we can do about that awful pond. We could clear it out. It was all a bit of a letdown then. Yeah. It gets me so angry the way people dump their rubbish. Nan, Nan, you know what the phone you said about an action group? What is it? Well, it's a group of people who try to change something. Right. We'll tell them about it at school then. And the mums and dads can help. And we'll clear away all the rubbish. And put fish in it. And octopuses. Oh, Steve. Well, maybe not octopuses. They live in salt water, you see. Oh, I see. Well, it's a good idea, but it'll take a bit of organising. Will it take until tomorrow? Longer than that. Till next week? More like a couple of weeks. But that's ages. Water gets dirty, the fish don't like it. What's going to happen to my frog? Let's ring up the council and find out who owns the pond. Let's get started then. We'll all get together and do something. 
I'll start by ringing people up. Let's do something now. My frog needs a home. Now, now, I've got an idea. Now my frog needs a place to live. Yes. And the pond's all dirty and it'll take ages to clean it. Oh, it'll certainly take a few weeks. Well, why don't we make a pond in the playground at school? At school? Yes, in the playground. There's loads of room there. But your school playground's all hard. So are the roads, and people dig them up all the time. They have special machines, Steve. I know. Let's think about it. Think about finding. 